good. All right. Hey guys, <laughs> welcome to the live stream on this beautiful Monday evening. Um, we are doing some expression practice today. Um, so I hope you guys brought your sketchbooks and um, a snack maybe or dinner. And I have some tea here and a bar of chocolate that I got for Christmas. <laughs> Um, and I also have in front of me, I've got my tablet set up on this handy dandy artist easel. Um, cause I don't do it like this cause it hurts my neck. So I have it up on an easel and also it makes it easier for me to look over to my main monitor, um, that I have photo booth up on. So I have a Mac, so photo booth is the program I'm using. Um, but if you have like a webcam or something, um, I, there's also, you can use like a hand mirror. <laughs> Um, if you've got one, um, those are great too. I, I don't really like, I mean, you can take pictures, um, if you want to, uh, on your phone or whatever, but I actually like to do it live without taking pictures because, um, it kind of, I don't know. I feel like it gives me more like life to the art, to the drawing and it, um, I don't know. It just... I feel like sometimes when I do a picture, I'm too focused on copying the image than I am about like capturing the essence and like the expression. Um, so that's also why I am going to put a timer on um, because the first like 10 sketches are always crap anyway. So, um, and like, I feel like if I just start sketching, like I'll get really into something. I'm like, I have to get it perfect. But the name of the game is just practice. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open up. I have this app called Flow, I think. Stand by. Let me confirm. <laughs> uh, I think it's called Flow. Mm. Yeah, that's what it's called. Um, I also use this app for, it's a desktop app, and I think you can get it for anything, but I use it for um, taking breaks. <laughs> so a lot of times, if I'm, especially if I have a deadline or something, I will um, just sit all day, and it's bad to do that. <laughs> so um, I downloaded this little timer. So I have my headphones in and it dings like for however long you set it to. So like if I want to work for 30 minutes, I'll set it for 30 minutes and I'll work and then it'll ding. And um, then I get up and do push ups or get a drink or walk around or play with the dog or something. Um, and you can set it for like having longer intervals of breaks or whatever, shorter or whatever. So like every, I'm, I have it set to like 25 minutes and then every five minutes I'll t or every 25 minutes I'll take a five minute break um, and that's been really helpful for days where I'm working a lot or just get sucked into a good project um, so I've got this timer set up so I'm gonna just set it to how do this um, duration Oh, also, you can totally just use, I think there's a timer built in to the Mac. Whatever. I don't know. I'm just going to do this, like, the first five minutes. Um, I don't know how to do this any shorter. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can just use a timer. I don't know if you have a desktop timer. No. Or you can just Google one five minute timer but we're just gonna move with this all right so I'm just gonna head right in here so hi Lindsay nice to see you <laughs> I am late I'm sorry we were having some issues with the internet and we had to switch computers because it was Alex was um running the stream on his computer tonight because mine got too slowed down doing Photoshop and the stream and then oops uh oh Alex we have a problem your mouse is all the way on the third monitor there you go yeah but it, it might it won't draw on the monitor shit <laughs> so the mouse is I can move the mouse cursor to my monitor but it doesn't draw on my tablet What do you mean? Keep, like, put your mouse, put your mouse back on the screen, and then go to your right. Yeah, it's draw. it's not working. Yeah, when you doubled your window, your actual drawing window is the one in the third monitor. 
I switched them. Yeah, you, your primary is this one, and I'm looking at there this one. So. Okay. Or I can guide you. Thank you. All right, my I have okay. So many monitors and screens happening. All right. <clears throat> I don't know. Can you draw now? Is it work? No. I'm not, I didn't move anything. Oh, okay. Hold on. <laughs> Displays. You're going to just make them all one display? Um, no, I, I want to see if I can switch those two. I can't even get to the top. Okay, hold on. I'll just. <clears throat> Technical difficulties. Thank you guys for being patient. We're learning here with you. You're not learning, but hopefully we'll be in a second once we get this show on the road. <laughs> I did the switcheroo, man. These will get easier. Oh, that'll do it. Okay, we don't want to convert. Oh, my cursor's so tiny. <laughs> All right, stand by. No, can't move. There we go. Okay. Shoot. Okay, there we go. Okay, so wait. So this is the one I'm drawing. So see, that's what I'm saying. My cursor ends up over there. How do we fix that? I don't think it has anything to do with the windows, it's just the tablet's getting confused. Yeah, it's over there. Display settings. Yeah. Oh, no, it's doing the thing. Mm -hmm. It just came up here. So. Okay. I don't think that that changes like the color. Yay, it worked. <laughs> Good job. Technical reason. Yay. Right, that other window? Okay, hold on. Let me. Oh, I was like, why does the live stream look like shit? And it, oh, it's my it's photo booth. Really photo <laughs> yeah, no, that looks awful. Okay, um, where is that other window? Oh, it's in here? Thank Gord. Okay, we're good. <laughs> All 
All right, just make that big. Cool. Thank you guys for being cool about that. Um, oh, thank. I'm glad you found that entertaining, Lindsay. Don't want to be a dull moment over here. <laughs> we'll get right to the meaty bits in a in a second, but it was a nice intermission in the beginning. Big intermission. A little big intermission. <laughs> Computer, you better no, stay down. there. Pan over. Like a, and you go hit hold space bar. Hold. Make it. Oh, no, just, just leave it. Center. Just leave it. Okay. Hi, Greg. Oh, Greg's on. <laughs> <laughs> Sup, buddy? How do I? Good. Yeah. Good. Excellent. Cool. We did Good. it. <laughs> cool. Good job. All right. Try. Just draw some things to make sure. Yay, we did it. Okay. Cool. All right. All right. Cool, so you guys were new at this, so if the sound goes out or it's, you know, something's going on that isn't quite right or you can't see it, just let us know in the chat. Just move also, the yeah, we're casting a screen. super many technologies happening right now. Also, um, if you can't use the chat, subscribe, and then you can use the chat. That'd be cool, thanks, bye. <laughs> Smash like, that subscribe button, guys. Like on the video. We're YouTubers now. We're right. <laughs> so now we can actually show you what we were working on. Derp. Derp. We good? All right, we did it, you guys. Oh my gosh, okay, excellent. All right, cool. So um, I'm just gonna make some faces and I'm gonna draw them. And if you guys have expressions that you want me to draw, um, go ahead and throw it in the chat because this is supposed to be interactive. <laughs> um, but I do hope that you guys are illustrating at home as well. Hmm. Alright, I'll start my timer here. Mouths are the hardest, I think. <laughs> She breathing over there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'm just trying to like get these done really fast, even though they're gonna look like crap for the first few because um, Gotta shake out those spider webs, you guys. I'm not like feeling this brush right now. Oh, that's why it's an inking brush. <laughs> I thought it was a sketching brush. Mm. Animator pencil, that's a good old trusty sketch brush. So 
I suck at drawing faces like up and down, which is why I'm doing this. started to try to get like into it and we're not doing that right now so I'm gonna just do this pretend we did it and move on to the next one so I'm spending more than a minute on all of these and that's bad gotta keep it fast keep it fresh <laughs> what kind of gear are you using to show us your drawings um I wish I could show you all the gear we're doing um we got cameras, we got tablets, we got computers. I'm listening to music on my iPad. We got many gears happening in this, uh, this stream. <laughs> oh, Alex is gonna show you the setup. He's putting magic on. Tea is also essential. Okay. <laughs> Apathy. See, I'm already using less marks than I did in the first one. Because <sighs> you always start with so many marks and then you're like, oh, wait a minute, I know how to do this, once you remind yourself. That's why you can't worry about the first few because it's just practice. So you're just going in there and trying to be as concise as possible. Um, I'm gonna keep doing angry and sad. Let's do a happy one. So I think later on, like I'm trying to figure out like, so when you learn how to draw, usually in like a foundations course, they tell you like the planes of the face. Actually, I can draw it for you. You do a little lesson here, okay? <laughs> so when you draw a head, they tell you to start with a circle. It's like in that SpongeBob episode where he like draws the full head and like erases it to get like a perfect circle. Um, so you have your skull and then you have your like frontal plane of the skull, which is like right here. Um, and then your jaw goes back here. So these are two different planes right here. So if you draw like your jaw over to your chin and then this like cheeky piece, um, this is where like the front part of my face is like a flat box. 
kind of. And then this is like the side plane. So basically from where your cheekbone is, that's like, you know, superhero jawbone kind of thing. And then you have the same thing going on over here. And then from there, you have your eyes kind of in the middle there. And then your nose comes out from this guy. And then you've got your mouth and your chin and your eyebrows. So later on, once I'm not as concerned with just like warming up, um, I'm gonna go in and we're gonna talk about like this plane. Oh, you got another new layer here. Like under the nose, like there's like all of these tiny planes happening. So, and I'm not super concerned with them because like I illustrate, so like I'm not going for hyperrealism here, but like kind of understanding like all of the little, like what your mouth does at different angles, like your lips kind of change based on which way your head is tilted. So I'm gonna probably take a picture um, and do like more like slow studies a little bit later, but right now I just wanna go in and do, I hope that made sense. I'm just like bored vomiting right now. I'd be a horrible teacher. <laughs> Anyone who's like seen me talk in like a school setting knows that I talk way too fast because I get nervous and um, I might not always make sense. So this is me, which is why you're here drawing with me. <laughs> Probably not learning from me. Okay, so um, guys, welcome to the chat. Um, if you wanna subscribe, you can do the chat and welcome if you're just viewing. But um, if you guys want to pop in some expressions or some emotions, some feels, some fee-fees. I'm sorry I said that. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. I'm sorry. It was great. Was it? <laughs> All right. Um, the other thing too is like, I, I don't want to keep drawing from a live camera because um, I keep getting the same angle because I'm like drawing. <laughs> so do this in a second um I guess confused hard to emote and draw at the same time. I'm gonna do a fun one. Oh, sweet. All right, Alex has got some behind the scenes that he's gonna plug in. <laughs> it's making me laugh. So this is behind the scenes. So this is the monitor that I run the stream from. So I can control everything and I can see all the stats in the chat. This is our preview monitor. Uh, we take everything in through an ATEM mini board, which is this little control board right here, which allows me to switch everything for Alexandra. And then Alexandra is right over here. So I sit in my little control chair 
This is our A camera that's recording Alexandra right now. I'm using the B camera to do it behind the scenes. That's Alexandra doing all her crazy faces. <laughs> we have a hair light above her. And her computer is actually sending out another monitor signal that goes across the desks. Um, all of the cables go down this red line into the back of the ATEM. And then I switch them and I control them here. So. That's how everything works. We're gonna go back to camera three. So I'm just gonna hit cut. And there you go. to hold my face like that. All right, I'm gonna start using photographs because I feel warmed up. And I'm curious about the minute details. So I can probably break these down a little bit better for you guys with the photographs. New layer, new color too, because let's be fun. Do pink. Okay. Can you turn off the timer for photo bomb or photo booth? I know, I feel like <laughs> remember you got your first Mac and you just like did photo booth with your friend. My friend Hannah had a Mac and when we were in like high school and like we would just play like, photo booth all the time. I don't know how to turn off the timer though, so we're just gonna have to go with it. We do have those all loaded up already. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Yeah. Cool. That's the joint. All right. Would it be helpful? Because I know you guys have like a, I think I'm gonna do like a big one and then I'll just shrink it after so you guys can see it. Problem with using a bigger brush though is my computer's like, I don't want to. <laughs>
Well, there's one. So the thing about, um, you draw a lot of self-portraits in art school and um, that's why like, I feel like you draw yourself the most because you're your only model. And um, as a result, I feel like a lot of like characters end up looking like you, <laughs> like when you end up start kind of developing a style. And I definitely feel like that. I draw a lot of like, like my eyes are tilted like down on the outside corners. And I feel like I draw that a lot. Um, as much as I try to draw like Disney princess eyes sometimes. Um, I like in more of my recent stuff that I've been doing more self portraits, I've been trying to like, um, notice like these little nuances of like which way the eyes are tilted and that's also good for like figuring out, you know, drawing diversity and like those little nuances and like noses and different shapes and you know, we're all really unique. Um, so that's why it's good to do, um, you know, draw other people if you can. <laughs> Even if you just carry your sketchbook around. So see like this, I'm trying to, mm, For some reason, drawing heads up and down, I always like skew it. And a really good way to look at it is um, I flip my image rotation. If you flip things back and forth, you can kind of get like a better, see where the problems are. I do that with a lot of my finished work. So I'm not going for like super duper likeness here. I'm just going for like expressions. So this, if I can show you here, this face that I just drew is really like deadpan, but the face that I, I'm about to show you is, is this gonna work? I have to drag it all the way over. Can't see this. 
Okay, so this is the face I'm trying to draw, and you can see that it's much more expressive in the photo. Um, so I'm really tight right now, like drawing wise, um, and what I've just drawn does not reflect the emotion that I've, I'm trying to convey here. So I'm gonna take a step back from my reference and I'm just gonna feel the feelings, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna feel them feelings. So when you're just starting out and you're kind of like, don't really feel like you have a style yet, this can be kind of difficult and like definitely pay attention to your reference to get understand like the mechanics of everything. But um, I have kind of like a, I don't want to say a formula, but yeah, like a formula for drawing faces that is comfortable for me and it's my style and like every once in a while I'll do like a big overhaul and like kind of revisit little things in my style, but I've spent like, you know, the last 15 years of my life like figuring out my style. So um, I'm gonna just try to go in here and like use my style married with the reference and see if I can't get a little bit more of a feeling, just feel something. <laughs> could end up exactly the same and I just suck at drawing. Okay, so that's got a little bit more feeling to it, at least, than this one. <laughs> so, requesting a face with the expression one would make upon hearing a chipism. Oh, I feel like that's it, the one I just drew. <laughs> um, so in our household, Chip is my almost father-in-law and Alex's dad. And um, he says stuff that like isn't true all the time. <laughs> and then you have to just Google it and that's like part of the game is like you have to figure out if it's true or not. And a lot of times it's met with like this exact expression where you're like, I don't know if that's right. <laughs> and then like everybody in the living room gets their phone out and like looks it up and I feel like he's right when you think it's not right like the, if you're like I'd bet my life on that that's not right like I don't I feel like we've done like there's been like some Kevin Bacon trivia you know which celebrities are alive or dead and we're like nah man he's totally alive and then like died like 20 years ago or whatever but Chip's got Chip's got some interesting wisdom here <laughs> but we're learning stuff every day that's for sure oh this is another good chip chip one I'm gonna try to make the face as well. Let's see if you guys can see what I'm doing.
those eyes are messed up, but I feel like I got the point. Very like Dr. Seuss. Kind of teeny weeny. Oh, that's a good idea. <clears throat> Sometimes, like, I wish I had that giant Cintiq, even though it's a fortune. <laughs> Just like, sometimes, like, because the 13 inch is 13 inches, and then there's like a almost a two inch border around it and then you have like all your tools and then like by the time you're finished with all the outside bits you've got like this like five by five square to draw in it's so tawny all right what else do we have here all right i'm gonna attempt to do more photo ones um not from photos but like i'm staring at photo booths so like live action ones but first chocolate because all of our viewers went away, so it's a good time to get a piece of chocolate. <laughs> Today we have milk chocolate. Oh, I thought it had hazelnuts in it. Just milk chocolate. But it's that fancy Italian kind, you know what I'm saying? Nobody saw that. <laughs> Cool. It's pear. Um, I'm gonna butcher the sound of this or the pronunciation, but Perugina, if you'd like to sponsor us, we have four concurrent viewers at this moment. You could have eating his chocolate. <laughs> That's four viewers. Let's get give us money so we can sell your chocolate. Mmm, it's so good. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Okay, let's see here. Um, I guess I'm gonna do an expression about how good this chocolate is. Mmm, <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> the shoulders are important. <laughs> oh, 
cool. Mm. This is why I'm not an actor. An actor. Not that I have to act, this chocolate's really good. <laughs> Hashtag Paragina. <laughs> Aren't by Paragina. Maybe we'll get a little sticker that we can put on all of our stuff that says powered by Paragina. The Squarespace one. But chocolate. Right. Is this big enough? Can you, is that, can you see that better? Over there? Yeah, I'm, I'm listening to like chill beats because I'm like trying to do so much at once. <laughs> That's awesome. You know how much I like funk. We always joke that, um, so Alex being a 1993 baby, um, he liked, he had that punk phase in middle school. But, and like everybody I knew had the punk phase and like the like, I don't know, Blink What Did He Too, Panic at the Disco stuff. And then, which I really like, don't get me wrong, but like when I was that age, I was listening to disco and funky music because I marched to the beat of my own drum. I just sketched that and I realized I wanted to draw the jaw forward. <clears throat> so I'm learning things. <laughs> I never realized, I'm gonna change colors so I can explain this. Um, I never realized like this eyebrow area, like if I draw a face, it's usually like, like the eyebrow goes all the way over, which I guess it kind of does if you're looking kind of straight on, but there's a lot more space here between the eyebrow and the nose, for me at least. So like this is skin and then the, I guess you can't see that. This bit is like skin and then the eyebrow doesn't start until like over here. So I just learned that. I did not know that. Tea, chocolate, tea, chocolate. Mm. Yes. That's really good chocolate. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> My mom is a cereal buyer of anything made in Italy. Chocolate's a good one. Can we just talk about how crappy chocolate is in advent calendars? Just want to say that. Sorry, advent calendar companies, but I'm coming after you. can't draw heads all the way up. So.
feel like most of my expressions have been apathetic and like lethargic. Hashtag mood. No, I promise I'm really having a good time. <laughs> just like really relaxed, you know? I just had some nice like, soup for dinner. Having some tea and chocolate, just chilling. Um, go away. Why? Oh no! Ah, oh, crud. I have to shut down Photoshop. Um, crap. Every once in a while, my brush panel will come up and it won't go away. So I have to shut everything down. Uh, don't save. Save. Technical difficulties. Sure. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Oh no, it's still not going away. Okay, Photoshop close, quit. This is the life of an illustrator or any creative professional. Programs a crashing. That wasn't so bad. <laughs> Back at it. <laughs> I gotta do more open mouth ones um, because I suck at drawing open mouth. start drooling. Sorry in advance if I drool. Uh. <laughs> I can't draw my eyes though. What? Oh, hi, Ryan. I do like drawing a lot. <laughs> I like drawing so much. I do it 24 seven. Just kidding. I, I get pretty much like six to 10 hours of sleep every night. So I'm drawing behind my eyelids. Yeah, I drew. <laughs> um, okay, I can't draw with my eyes closed, so I'm not gonna close my eyes. Um, I'll have to take a picture. Let me take a picture. Cool. <laughs> oh, it's backwards though. <laughs> mm. Oh, I can fix. We have the technology. Image rotation. Horizontal. So I'm challenging myself to draw eyelids more um, because I never do and they're pretty informative when it comes to expression. Like there's a lower eyelid here. 
especially, you can see it especially when you're like turned to the side like this. Um, I don't know if anyone's seen Arcane yet, but damn, that is some beautiful art. And there's the counselor lady. She's got like the lower eyelid eyeshadow, which is like amazing. <laughs> Just the art in that is so beautiful. I'm following Arcane visuals on Twitter and I don't regret it. But also actually thinking about going through the, um, I, I watched the whole thing through this weekend and um, I'll probably go through again and like do some anatomy sketches because the poses were so good. You all right, buddy? Uh-oh, uh-oh, you okay? <laughs> Figure it out, buddy. <laughs> You're all right. You're okay. But talk about expressive eyebrows in that show. Like, I don't know who was on visuals for that, but good job. The other thing too is like, I never draw shoulders like mid face, like right here. Like I always draw like full neck and like they're like down here. That looks suggestive. Let's go to a new one. <laughs> um, <laughs> tempted to draw something else there, but I didn't do it. What's that? Oh, did Ryan send that to you? No. Oh, <laughs> awkward. Okay. Um, what else can we do here? I remember when I was younger and I was just starting to draw, um, somebody was like, people like say the weirdest stuff when you're young and you're an artist, which is like very helpful, very like, but just like the way they say it, like it's just like, you're doing this. It's like <laughs> when kids like point at you and like point something out that's like a flaw, like you have hairy toes. Like it's just like saying stuff. Like this one person was like, you always draw people from this angle and I'm like, you know what, I do. And then I endeavored from that day on to not do that. <laughs> but three quarter angles are nice because you get basically everything you need. And they're fun to draw. But I would always draw people from like this one side. And that person pointed that out for me. So it was a really, um, blunt way to say that and I appreciate that so thank you whoever that was in fifth grade So like, see, the shoulder starts like here. I would never draw that. That's why practice is important because you can get into like a cycle of doing something a certain way. And then before you know it, some fifth grader is telling you that you always draw something the same way. And we don't want to do that. So it's good to keep your skills fresh. Like I'm learning so much stuff that I'm like, man, I've been really in that in the groove of doing it this one way for so long that I really need to break out of my comfort zone. And that's what sketchbook practice does because these are not beautiful by any means. I will not be publishing these to my gallery or my website, but you know what? We gotta do it because we gotta learn. We gotta stretch our brains out. All right. 
Anybody in the chat wanna put another emotion or expression for me to try? I'm just gonna go ahead and do. <sighs> no, I did so much apathy already. I look really scared. <laughs> look like I'm trying to poop. <laughs> um, You know what? I actually have to pee really bad, so I'm gonna stop lying to you all. <laughs> Can we put the standby screen up? I don't actually have to poop, it's just pee, I promise. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> this tea's going right through me. Scotty. Is my mic on? Excellent. I didn't drop my mic in the toilet, so that's a really good thing. Um, also, Alex, do you want a piece of chocolate? I didn't even offer you one. Did you want a piece of chocolate? No, one or two. You're getting these these two pieces because they're kind of funky. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I could. That's really soft. So, do you want a not broken one? Do you want a perfect square? Yeah, I have a better square. <laughs> really? Because I really don't think I can give that to you. <laughs> Maybe I can. Oh yeah. See, this is. This is like totally not a perfect square. That's a half of a half of a half. Okay, back to business. I think if you get chocolate in your keyboard and then it's bad, I'm gonna move it so I don't do that. <laughs> I'm gonna look nervous.
Hi, Lucy Ricardo. <laughs> Do I look like a professional? Good, it's working. <laughs> Just fake it till you make it, baby. Oops, not Google. Oh no. Oh, I forgot that I'm like um, reading the chat at a different time than you guys are. I'm like lagged by like a couple minutes. <laughs> no? Am I on? For like real? Oh yeah, I guess it is. That's what I just drew. Oh, cool. The first few times we did this, um, sorry, my dog is shopping right now. <laughs> if you can hear that. Um, <laughs> oh, we got a whole thing of tennis balls. Good boy. <laughs> I have a um, bag. Uh... Oh my God, Lucia. Why is your last name Ricardo? <laughs> did you get married and I didn't know it? <laughs> Welcome to the stream. I'm so happy you're here. Oh, there's Ollie. <laughs> Looking all guilty, he's got a tennis ball. It's a three pack. <laughs> all right, there's me looking scared. What other emotions? Hi, because high school me loved, I love Lucy. Oh my God, you're so cute. Did you see the new one with um, actress? What's her name? Being the Ricardos. I forgot her name, but she's really famous. I forget. But that's on Netflix, I think. I don't know. Nicole Kidman. <laughs> Excellent. Um, I'm trying to think of a new expression. Oh, you want to see it? Yeah, um, I haven't seen it, but I feel like they made her face look really weird. Like, I don't know if that's just her face now, but like, it didn't look like Nicole Kidman. I've been listening to my pop culture podcast, Page 7, which like, innocent plug, you should listen to it. It's very funny. I don't do pop cog, or, oh, oh yeah, Javier Bardem's in it. I don't do pop, pop culture because I'm a shut-in and um, I don't pay attention to things, but I love movies and they do talk about movies a lot. So in order to keep up with people, I um, listen to a podcast to stay relevant. <laughs> Cause that's what you have to do these days if you don't leave the house ever. <laughs> um, but yeah, they were talking about it a few months ago and it's finally out, so. All right, I'm gonna keep drawing here because I keep talking and then eating chocolate and then drinking tea and then getting distracted. What other expressions can we do? Um, let's do a crazy one. Let's do, no, that one's weird. When would you make that expression other than being Jack Nicholson in The Shining? Um, she's just getting older. Um, yeah, but I feel like the makeup they did to make her look like Lucy, Lucille Ball, like I feel like they did makeup magic on her. I don't know. I mean, she looks like younger, but like a totally different person. Also like Fergie is totally different. Like. Fergie don't look like the Fergie I grew up with. Which like, girl, get it. If you, that's your that's your deal, that's that's fine. As long as you're honest about what you're doing. Like Cardi B, she's, she's honest. I'm thinking of expressions, but I can't emote anything. Okay, I'm um, just gonna do a smile. No. That evolved from a smile. I feel like that's like a, I don't know. You, you got gagged face, like you got a, you got, oh, you guys, you did it. Jean Parmesan got me again. Yeah. Oh, I love you too, Lucia, you're so sweet. <laughs> Excited or nervous like when you get a new job or on a first date? Oh, that's fun. I'll do that one next for sure. What? Oh, Alex is making the face. He just made me so nervous. He came over to the, like, behind the camera and was like, and I was like, is there a ghost behind me? Oh my God. 
He's making the face so I can draw. Oh, actually, I could have got... Do you want to be my model? I'm going to solicit Alex for modeling. I'm not drawing it right now. I'm just going to do this one first, and then you can come back and... Boom, <laughs> two in it. That's okay. Guys, if you hear um, gnawing, I'll be seeing them. Um, so when I was a, a wee lass and I discovered that drawing was a career, um, I thought I wanted to go into animation. So, oh, this is a weird mouth to draw. How do I do this? Oh, it looks right. <laughs> um, I was like, all, I was super into um, like listening to all the old animators of Disney and how like they. This is a really weird mouth to draw. <laughs> I'm gonna go for it. I think that's fine. That's okay. Um, anyway, oh my god. Um, this expression sucks. All right, we're gonna go to the next one. Um, a lot of the animators would like have their little hand mirror and sit at their desk and like be making faces all the time, like while they were trying to do the, um, characters and I find often when I'm doing characters as well mostly with weenie I don't know if you guys can see behind me weenie is the graphic novel I just finished I'm working on the second one right now but that was like the most expressive I've been able to be in a long time because a lot of children's books illustrations don't like you're kind of just like happy sad that's it like there's no other like you don't have a lot of time like chances to emote anything else um, because like the story is telling like a lot in like a small amount of space whereas like graphic novels and animations are more like um, you have a lot more the expressions carry a lot more of the um, the story whereas like the illustration as a whole is carrying the story in a um, children's book so um, I'm really excited because I'm working on a graphic novel right now, which is why I'm doing these expressions because I haven't done expressions in a really long time. And I used to practice them all the time because I used to be such a huge fan of Disney and like the nine old men and like all of their like wisdom. And um, you can go back to the drawing screen. I'm drawing again, I'm sorry, I keep stopping. It's really hard to multitask you guys. Um, But I used to be like practice that stuff all the time, and I was actually on my old DeviantArt account today, <laughs> um, and I'll be posting some of that old stuff on to Instagram either this week or next week. But um, I used to be so much more expressive because I thought I was going to be an animator, and I just I haven't had to do that in a while. So I'm hoping that you know doing this will help me kind of brush up on my skills a little bit.
Sorry, Lucy, I got distracted, so I just started drawing this one. And now I'm gonna do the date night one because it's like trying not to be distracted. Ari. That one's like a yucky face. For those of you at home who are wondering. Mm, more chocolate. date night gosh what does that feel like <laughs> do you want to do it for me do you still get nervous around me on dates yeah. Yeah. really that makes me feel better he's just saying that to make me feel better mm. oh the face of the dog owner whose precious baby just farted in their face oh just like you, buddy. Ollie came over. He's like, do you need me? Am I, do you need my assistance? Oh, it's really fun because Oliver, um, when he stands up like on his paws, so like if he jumps up on you or if he's like walking up the stairs, like if he's like tilted at this angle, his farts are always audible. He's got really cute farts. <laughs> Which is like really funny because, okay, I'm gonna do the dog fart face first and then Alex is gonna help me with the, uh, the other one. This is, <laughs> I kid you not, this is the face that whenever I'm walking behind Oliver on the stairs, which happens frequently because he follows me everywhere, um, this is the face I make because I'm just like, that's my boy. <laughs> Those parts are good. <laughs> He's pulling all kinds of things out of that bag over there. I think I started telling you, but I have a paper bag full of dog stuff over here and he's just helping himself. <laughs> You know what's weird? If you like do this, like it's kind of a smile, but like if I draw it, it looks like I'm scared or upset. <laughs> That's weird. I don't know how to do that. There's something there that I just like don't even know. Like even, it, uh, I don't know how to do that. Cause that looks like I'm like yelling at someone and then, oh, Lucy is complimenting your photography skills. <laughs> um, but basically like this is the face I make when Oliver farts. people welcome <laughs> we're talking about farts <laughs> what face do you make when your dog farts <laughs> this is this looks like you farted out a ghost or something <laughs> I'm like oh no or like a little poop came out I don't know <laughs> I don't know that's a that's a real I'm confused about that how do you draw an open mouth that looks happy I don't know. I'm going to I'm going to have to stew on that one. But I say that that's like in essence what I look like. Cuz And 
and I'm really leaning into it because let's be honest like that audible dog parts are they're like shooting stars <laughs> They're real special. All right, Alex, you want me to, uh, can I do your, your date night face, your nervous face? So Alex and I have been together for seven years and um, we don't really get nervous around each other anymore. Well, maybe sometimes. <laughs> Something real embarrassing happened, okay? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that, maybe cause like, uh, Because the smiling is like the corners of your mouth go up, but smiling with your mouth open, like I don't know how you look happy. Like that's a happy face, but what I just drew is like, oh no! Whereas like this is like, ah, ah, ah. yeah, I don't know. We're gonna have to study that one later. All right, ready? Alex is modeling for me. <laughs> That's actually really good, Alex. You should be an actor. <laughs> Got a little blue steel going in there too. <laughs> blue steel. <laughs> All right, don't don't mess up. <laughs> that was a different face that time I looked up. <laughs> Alex has a nose that like, he's got like a perfect Disney princess nose. <laughs> This is turning into something else because he keeps making a different face. All right, your forehead's gigantic. Not in real life, but on this drawing. <laughs> so, but that's nervous date night face. Also, this is a good time to illustrate. You're, you're fine, you're good. You can stop being nervous. Um, <laughs> thank you, Lucia, that was a great suggestion. Um, when you're drawing faces straight on, um, I always really liked this um, trick when you're dividing the face, the eyes, if you're like drawing, oh yeah, tout droit, this one. The eyes and the ears and the bottom of the nose, just about, the ears go a little bit below. But that's basically like where your top of your eyes and the bottom of your nose is where your ears go. So just for like spatial stuff, um, that's a good trick. And then they always said like, between your eyes is like another eye's length, but you learn that rule and then you break it when it comes to character design because that's one of those ones that you can break. But ears and stuff is also able to be broken because of um, character design. But if you're just learning how to draw a head for the first time and you're wondering about um, just ratios and stuff, um, that's a good way to remember it. Hopefully that made sense. Lucia said, I'm so happy that farts can teach us to expand our artistic boundaries. I am too. I just, I, I think that, you know, everybody does it. Everyone farts. And we really should just stop pretending everyone doesn't fart. So, that's how I feel about that. I'm willing to die on that hill. Everybody farts. Liberation for the fart. 
I'm also in an art career, so I can talk about farts because nobody cares if I'm proper. <laughs> okay, um, what other expressions do we have? Um, That one's like, oh. <laughs> this one's like, um, there's like a canned laugh track happening in the background. I'm like, <laughs> I'm in a sitcom and I just made a goof. <laughs> it's a goof face. Oh, did I be that? Struggling on the turlet. I feel like. I can do that. I will do the turlet one next. Oh my god, who sent that? Ryan. Ryan, where did you get that? <laughs> you could show it. That's fine. That's so funny. I have long hair there, that's crazy. Thanks, Ryan. That's a good one. That one's like, the I had a crazy look on earlier that I was like, nobody makes that face. Actual proof that I make that face. <laughs> Quite often, actually. afraid of what you're giggling over there. So in my style, I don't usually draw these like little laugh lines over here. Can you pull a guy? Um, only because, I don't know why. I don't know, I feel like it just like it's too much detail. Unless it's really necessary, like, I just ate another piece of that one, sorry. But I'm gonna talk to you anyway. If I'm doing like, a really sideways mouth. Then I'll draw the line, but if I'm just like hanging out, like doing like a smile or something, um, I typically don't draw the line because um, I feel like Sometimes you have to be careful with wrinkles. Like if you're really drawing a person with wrinkles, like with a lot of wrinkles, that's fine. But like, especially when I'm, I'm doing um, just like family portraits and stuff, you kind of have to be um, mindful of how many wrinkles you're drawing just because these are people and like, you know, just because you see the wrinkles doesn't mean you have to draw them. And like, sometimes you have to be like John Singer Sargent and like, you know, make someone I don't want to say that's really 
horrible. I didn't mean that. I meant like, like I have acne. Like I wouldn't draw my acne. I mean like in my graphic novel I'm drawing acne, but that's because that's part of the story. Like unless it's part of the story that you're trying to tell. So like if you go to see this like wizened oracle woman and like she's got a ton of wrinkles cause she's like 200 years old that's part of the story. But like, if it's just a person who's like in their fifties or sixties and like they have a few wrinkles, like their age isn't a part, unless you're really trying to like age them. Like that's like kind of like a subconscious psychological thing. Um, that like when we see wrinkles, we think age. And like, if I see a wrinkle on a person, like a real human being in real life, I don't look at someone's wrinkles and I'm like, Oh, that's cause like I have wrinkles, but like, you're not going to draw those in like a portrait because they're not really like, that prominent they're not as prominent as your eyes or your nose and like if you put that down with your pencil it makes it prominent does that make sense so it's not because you're omitting it because you're like for vanity reasons or whatever it's just like is it part of the story you're trying to tell and does it help the piece of artwork um and like by all means you can leave it out if you feel like you want to make the person more or less young but um i just feel like I use wrinkles as like a storytelling thing or like as an exaggeration. So um, that's how I feel about wrinkles. But like IRL, embrace your wrinkles. I don't know, the second I go gray, I'm gonna just like embrace it. I don't know. I feel like age, aging gracefully is great. But in terms of drawing, it can be pretty prominent sometimes. Um, I'm gonna have some fun here, I think. I've done a lot of like photo ones. Um, I'm gonna do the struggling on the turlet one but I'm gonna go a little rogue on this one. I'm gonna use, um, I'm gonna use some photo reference, but I'm just gonna kinda go from my memory. Cause once you're drawing for a long time and you develop a style, you can draw from life to pull, um, you know, to learn new things and everything, but it's good to, um, you know, kind of put it in your own like imagination and see what's going on um, behind your eyes. Because otherwise things can look kind of like, you know, I'm a cartoonist, I'm an illustrator. So like using my imagination as part of it, like I'm not a realistic painter at all. So. Just hold this face for a second. <laughs> what happened to my opacity? Oh no. think of like the last time I struggled on a toilet <laughs> trying to pull from some real emotional trauma here
said I was gonna have fun, but then I just ended up using photo reference, so that didn't end up well. <laughs> Cause like photo reference is like this, and then me having fun would be like Ren and Stimpy, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I'm trying to learn stuff and I'm confused now. That's what I often feel like when I'm doing Um, when I do like studies and stuff, I have to take a few days just to like not do it because I get too caught up in reference and trying to get it look like anatomically correct that I forget to like have fun. Um, that looks like she's really enjoying her poop though. Like this is not really struggling. This is kind of like Yes. <laughs> this is the greatest poop of all time. This is like after you've just gone Super Saiyan with your turd. All right. Like even that one was more fun. Hey, well, alrighty, what else can we do? It's just like I'm gabbing with my gals. Do you just want me to draw you? <laughs> You've been standing there for like 10 minutes. <laughs> Alex is like, put me in coach. <laughs> you want me, to, you can, I can draw you if you want to just stand there. Oh. <laughs> He's like a possum. You just, you look at him, he just strikes a pose. <laughs> All right, hold on. Okay, go ahead. What do you want? What do you, what are you feeling? <laughs> okay. If he hits with blue with blue steel, this stream is over. Don't do it. <laughs> that was blue steel with like the horror movie music, like hey hey hey, going on in the background. Okay, now we've got like a Ted Lasso optimistic look here. Alex has a mustache, so this is good. I get to practice drawing facial hair. It doesn't look, I'm making it look very thin. It's a very thick, good mustache. <laughs> also, Alex doesn't have as much of, your eyebrows go in the middle more. I mean, they'll go as far that way. So that's good. I, I was doing it that way and then I just said words that made sense in my head but didn't make sense to anybody else, but that's okay. <laughs> just making kind of like a hmm. I also draw necks like two like if I were drawing this myself, I would have done the neck like 
here's the jawline and then the neck is all the way over oh maybe not like that but like like his neck starts like right here so i gotta learn some neck perspective <laughs> That's, that's Alex looking very satisfied with himself. We did it, folks. Yeah, hair. It's done. Okay. What else are you gonna do? <laughs> Ow. Oh no, you just dropped your ice cream cone. Or like you watched another kid drop his ice cream cone. I gotta be faster. I'm going too slow here. I wait, it's you. It's me. It's not me. It's me. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna I'm because I got too concentrated. I'm gonna loosen up. Hold on, I'm just gonna draw this from memory. He was really sad about that kid's ice cream cone. He was like, oh god. And I told you so face. That's a fun one. Sorry for making chocolate eating noises into the microphone. Sorry, not sorry. Turn off your sound. Uh. <laughs> okay. Um, that is a good, that's the face you make when you tell me. I told you so. <laughs> Can't confirm. That's a real face. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's like you're scolding me. I don't like that. That's like you, you messed up. That's a really like smug I told you so face. Mm. Yeah, that's that's accurate. That's like, I told you so, and I just want to bet. Because you messed up. Okay. Wait, hold on. Neck. Okay. <sighs> Are you done? Is that it? Do you want to keep going? It's up to you. You're the one that auditioned. <laughs> like just standing there like <laughs> okay Can you get the hips on this one? I like this, this one, one. Yeah, this yeah. one's a figure yeah. drawing. <laughs> I like this one because it's like um like Disney Channel circa like 2004 mm. um like new show mm. this like is cover Kelly. This is my Cadet Kelly. Yeah. Cadet Kelly are like um Sister, sister, like. See, this is good because figure drawing doesn't start for another week. Wait, no, not you. Sorry. I meant R8, like... Huh? 
Hi. <laughs> All right. Got headphones and some hair. There we go. Hi, Oliver. Cool. Um, that was a good one. Like, did I leave the stove on? good. <laughs> All right, what else you got for me? This guy, he's gonna fix my truck. And this guy, he's gonna do it right. <laughs> Hi, how are you buddy? Oliver's over here. He's like, I wanna play too. But I don't know about. Actually, I always a very expensive dog. a lot of face muscles. That's a totally different expression. I know. This was the, that was the show the once in a lifetime. I'm a photographer, so I really only use the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Just, Aim as a diagram is much much faster than painting. <laughs> Existential crisis face. I have these all the time. Oh, cool. That's a, that's a good one. Those? Yeah. Oh no, my existence. <laughs> uh, uh, oh no. Yeah. 
You look like a old man, but I don't mean to. Oh, or the old man driving with his mouth open. <laughs> That's just a really like laissez-faire. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Central crisis. Oh, no. Okay. Oh no, I got chocolate on my keyboard again. No, I don't want to start dictation. Okay. okay I think this might be our last one. All right, this is driving into the sun on Route 2. What? What'd you say? Aw, you're so sweet. Get out of here, Lucy. You're so adorable. You're too good for this world. I'm gonna do that. That was gonna be the last one. But first, I'm gonna draw this. Alex is in his driver's seat, driving into the sun. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna draw one last one for Lucia because she's been such a good sport. That's joy right there. That's like so much joy, you can't even handle it. Oh, shoulders too, because we'll see all them. Yay. That's Lucia. Kind of looks like Mabel, but like you're basically Mabel in real life from um, Gravity Falls. Like if there was anyone in my life that was Mabel, it's you. <laughs> She's such a good character. Oh, with big sleeves and everything. Please tell me you've seen that show, because like that is, I'm pretty sure they came to your house and were like, we need, we're doing some research for a Disney show. 
Alex Hirsch was there at your house. Okay, well, it's nine o'clock, kids, and it's time for bed. Um, thank you guys for tuning in, and um, this was really fun. I'm glad that we did this and that you guys were here. Um, so hopefully moving forward that these will be kind of like sketch alongs. So um, while I'm fumbling with my life, you can also be drawing to entertain yourself <laughs> and get better at being artists. Um, so these are kind of just like, you know, we could all just be alone and do art or we could be together and do art. So it's kind of the essence of these live streams is just like to do art with your pals. <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you next Monday. Bye. I think Monday. I'll post on Instagram when we're streaming next. We're still working out the kinks, <laughs> but love you guys. Bye to both places. Have a good night. <laughs>